Hello everyone. So this video is actually mainly for one of my friends, um, who is his only um, gaming PC is a Steam Deck, and we've all been playing a lot of Lethal Company lately. But um, we want to play it with him modded, so I figured I would just also upload this. So, um, if you're familiar with the modding scene at all in um, Lethal Company, you know that most people use Thunderstore because it's super duper easy. Plus, it um, you can automatically update mods and you can import and export mod profile so that it's easier for all of your friends to play together. So you can't use that on the Steam Deck. However, you can use what I believe like a modded version of that. I'm not exactly sure because you download it from Thunderstore's website, but um, doesn't matter. It looks and operates pretty much the exact same, and I'm gonna be showing you how to set that up today. So I'll have the link for this in the description. But it's called R2 Mod Man. <clears throat> so you'll just do manual download. You can see I already have one, so I'm actually just going to cancel that. Um, then you can go into your files, then where you downloaded it. And then um, it'll be a zip file by default. Yeah, right here. Uh, you'll want to unzip it so it's just so that it's just a folder. You can see mine's actually like empty, but there will be a bunch of stuff in here, including this, the R2 Mod Man whatever version app image this is the only file out of there that you need and you can see I moved it to my documents just so I wouldn't eventually like delete it out of my downloads and then once it's here you can just launch it um, it will ask you if you want to let this run um, but obviously you're gonna say yes but um, there's also a little checkbox that says like do you want to allow this to just run in the future um, I would just check that so you don't have to click that every single time. But um, it won't be right here by default. It'll just be gone. So you'll have to type in lethal. And then if you do star it, then it'll automatically be at the top. And if you do set as a default, it will automatically launch into um, lethal company. So now that you're here, you can either just use the default profile, or you can make a new one like I did. It doesn't really matter, because um, with this setup, you can only use one profile at a time. Um, because of a set that we're going to have to do in a minute. Um, and if, <coughs> Brayden, um, your friends already have like a mod pack set up, they can send it to you as a file. Um, and then you can just do import slash update, and you can just do that to the default file too. Update existing profile from file, and then you'll go and click on the file, and then um, you'll just update it, and then it'll um, automatically get all the mods that are in that pack. So let's say I just did that. Boom, it loaded. I'm gonna click update all on all the mods, which actually I do need to go and import this later because we're playing on new mods. So then, once you're done with that, you'll go to settings, and then you'll do browse profile folder, and then you're going to leave this open for a second. Then in another browser window, you are going to navigate to where you have Lethal Company installed. And um, by the way, I do recommend that um, you just have it installed on on your main drive instead of on an SD card, simply because it helps R2 Modman find it easier. Um, so. That's a good thing, and the game is like 500 megabytes, so it's not really going to um, take up any of your space. So, But then you're going to have to navigate to where um, 
it is, which for me is in Steam, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Lethal Company. And then these two files right here, the doorstop underscore config dot ini and this win httpdl, you have to highlight them both. And, and it's okay if you have to do it one at a time because I can't actually get them both highlighted without getting something else too. Um, so you'll drag them over into this file and then you'll click link here. Not move or not copy, just link here. Which you can see mine already have a little link icon. Um, but after that, that's it. Um, for the basic setup, this will work now. Um, you can you can launch the game from here. But there's a couple other things you're probably going to want to do. Um, in particular, so this is not going to be a problem because I'm um, using an external monitor right now. But the um, the resolution is going to be like really messed up because it just won't detect the Steam Deck's resolution by default, but there's something that you can do one time that'll fix it forever. So I'm just going to click Start Modded. Oop, I accidentally held on it. <coughs> then once the game launches all the way up, I will come back. Alright, so now that we're here, um, for me, you might notice that it looks perfectly fine, um, but for you, it may not. So, what you have to do is just go down to settings, do window, then you'll click the button to maximize it. By default, I think it'll not be maximized. It'll be, oh, not minimized like that. <laughs> it'll just be a smaller window size. Then you'll just click the, um, click the arrow to maximize it, and then you'll do windowed full screened. Um, I'm not going to save that, because I don't, I don't know if this is going to mess up with my Steam Deck install, but whatever, I can fix it later. And then, boom, now that'll be fixed too. But what if you want to launch it from gaming mode? Super duper easy. So you go to where you have the R2 Modman app image. You would right click, then you would click add to Steam. But that's not it. You'll then have to go into Steam. Find your R2 Modman. Go to properties. Then you'll need this line right here, dash, dash, no, dash, sandbox. If you don't put that in, whenever you, you try to launch this from gaming mode, it will just never launch, and you can't close it, and you'll have to restart your Steam Deck. Um, but that pretty much covers it. Um, I'll try to find a link to the um, t to the written guide that I followed for this because it also had some debugging tips um, in case you guys run into any problems. I didn't run into, into any problems um, other than um, my Steam Deck getting soft lock in gaming mode so then I had to put in that, um, that n no sandbox string. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, if you guys are lucky, I might also just link my friend's current mod pack down in the description. I'll 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 have to see if I'm feeling generous. Um, but yeah, um, I hope that helped, and have a wonderful day.